Hi, I'm Tina Burback with Greenland Garden Centre and today I'm going to show you how to make one of our most popular festive items and that's our fresh greens drop-in. A nice fresh planter to put by your front door outside. So today what we're going to be using is our pot filled with sand, you can also use soil, some decorative branches and our assortment of fresh greens. So we're using a mix of pine and Douglas fir and cedar but you can use any kind of greens that you like. The first thing you want to do is start with your pot filled with the sand or soil and you want to ensure that it's moistened. Next, you'll be using your decorative branches and placing them either in the center or at the back of the pot, depending where the planter is being placed. And we'll show you that as we go along. I'm going to place my branches in the center. You'll try and get them as straight as you can. Some natural branches need a bit of manipulation to get them just right. Now, once those are placed, you're going to start with your greens. We start with white pine. We find that the white pine has great strength to its stems, and so it's a really good starting point to fill in around as we complete the design. You want to be sure you're using a pair of nice sharp pruners. And note that they're going to get a lot of sap on them, so uh, make sure that you've got some rubbing alcohol on hand to clean them afterwards. When we're doing a standard fresh greens design in this size of pot which is about 12 inches. The length of the stem that we're looking to use is about 15 inches or so. So I'm just going to take a cut off of the end and insert it a good inch to two inches into the pot to make sure that it stays. As I continue to cut I'm going to turn my pot and just keep filling in around the design. And don't worry about these little cut ends, these nubs. These guys are just fine. We're gonna fill in with other greens after, so it's okay to see those cut stems. Most of our designs, we will use about three bundles to do a pot that's about 12 inches. If you wanna do a larger pot, then you can just double your amount of fresh greens you're using. So you note the white pine as I'm placing it into the pot. I'm putting it in at about a 45 degree angle. That's about the angle that you want to use with most of the greens that we're using today. If a stem is already the perfect hut length, like 15 inches, you still want to give it a fresh cut before placing it into the moistened sand or soil. It's like when you refresh your cut flowers at home in a vase, you want to give them the freshest cut you can to begin the design. Feel free to place the last couple of pieces of pine upright in the center of the design. That'll help give it a little bit of height and cover the base of the branches. So that's our white pine. Now we're gonna start to fill in with our Douglas fir. Douglas fir has amazing fragrance and a really fine texture to it. And so it's a great choice for any type of fresh greens planter and it's beautiful for decorating indoors as well. When we're placing the Douglas fir, we're also gonna place the Douglas fir in at about a 45 degree angle. We'll find ourselves a spot in between the pine stems and place it in. Turn the pot to place your next branch. Now Douglas fir, you'll note, has a beautiful coloration on both front and back, silvery and then green. And so we like to alternate as we go and have green facing the first branch and then we'll switch it up and have the silvery one facing to us the next time. And you can see as I place the Douglas fir, even placing it at a 45 degree angle, that the Douglas fir does have a little bit of floppiness to some of the branches, some will be quite sturdy. So you do always wanna make sure that you're placing it at that 45 degree angle. If you have a particularly floppy branch, then you can place it a little more upright and it will naturally arch itself. So you can see how this Douglas fir is really filling in between the pine nicely and adding that contrast to the long needles of the pine.
Be sure as you go along as well, when we're left with small, small stems that may seem too short for the rest of the design, we simply will just place those right at the outside edge of the pot. And what this does is gives us a nice skirting so that when we place it outside, we're hiding the lip of the pot. Now that we've finished with our Douglas fir, the last green we're going to use is cedar. Cedar has beautiful height to it, so if you were doing a larger planter, say a 16 inch, a 22 inch, a big grand design, you would likely leave the entire length of this branch and simply just snip off the bottom. But for this classic 12 inch drop in that we're doing today, we're going to stick with about the 15 inch length of bough. Same as with all the other greens we were using today, we're going to place it in the pot at about a 45 degree angle. Now cedar is quite flat, so you want to make sure that you do place it in so that it is nice and flat and arching out of the pot, not sideways, right? Don't worry about these cut ends like this because we're filling the cedar in with lots of other greens. These cut ends won't matter. What I like to do with a floppy piece like this is just gather it all up and push it deep into the design so that it actually holds those branches upright. You're just gonna keep going around, cutting to your 15 inches and filling in around all the other greens. Now, we use concrete sand for our designs and we actually really love the rigidity of it. So when you're designing with a soil that might be quite peaty, it doesn't hold the branches in very strongly. Once the design is outside and frozen in, soil or sand doesn't really matter. It doesn't make a difference either way. However, we just prefer the rigidity of the sand. So for even the most beginner of designers, it's very easy to stick the greens in and have them stay in one spot. The cedar, as you can tell, adds that final touch to the design. It's very feathery and it's very forgiving. So if you are just starting and to create your first drop in and maybe there's some rough spots in the design, the cedar is perfect for hiding any flaws. When you're choosing your cedar bundles, make sure that you are choosing the longest stems that you can with very little distance in between branches some cedar that you can find uh, at the stores may be quite floppy. You want some nice strong branches and the reason being is when we're placing the cedar, we want that cedar to stand upright but also arch gracefully, not droop. Once you've completed your Fresh Greens design, you may wish to accent it with some colorful berries or pine cones, glittery stems. You can simply place them in the design evenly around the arrangement. You'll want to ensure that your berries are weatherproof. Many garden centers that carry fresh greens will carry an assortment of weatherproof berries. These are coated in plastic stems as opposed to paper, so they can be reused from year to year and the berries won't crack in the cold. They make a wonderful accent to your fresh greens drop in. We'll pop in some pine cones in between the berries. And when we're done our design and we're ready to place it on our front step, give it one final soaking. And because we have many days in Alberta of freeze and thaw, on days above zero, you will always want to water your design. This will keep it fresh for several, several weeks. We often are removing the accents after the festive season and keeping these natural greens arrangements outside well into February. So it's a great investment in your holiday decor. We've shown you how to create a classic all around drop in. But if you have a planter that you're placing flat against the wall of the house, in front of the garage, we will build what we call a flat back design. 
It's built the same way as a classic drop-in, same amount of cedar, pine, and fir, same amount of branches. But what you'll do is place your branches towards the back of the pot. Then when you use your greens to fill in, cut them to the same length, but simply arrange them in more of a fanned pattern, fanning out from the center. And then at the back, save a nice long piece of cedar just to give you some height to the design and tidy up the back of the planter. Most of your greens, however, will be at the front of the design. This is a great design when you're placing it against a wall because it gives extra height to wherever you're placing it. In the classic design we built, we used traditional red berries and frosted pine cones, but as you can see with our other designs, you can use any accents to suit your holiday decor. Just ensure that the materials you're using are weatherproof. I hope you enjoyed this video on creating a Fresh Greens holiday drop-in. For more festive decorating tips, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our festive playlist.